Remember how Elon Musk unveiled Tesla's Cybertruck, the futuristic vehicle? It was compared to something out of an apocalyptic sci-fi movie. Such a futuristic car required a proper house too. That's why, shortly, a Russian architecture firm has designed a zombie-proof bunker to match. Meet Cyberhouse, the multi-story structure devised to withstand disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, or even radioactive contamination. St. Petersburg-based architects Modern House, the firm behind the proposal, claims the building could also protect inhabitants from a zombie apocalypse. We can understand why. It's doubtable that the undead would be able to scale its sloped walls or slip through its air-locked doors. A series of graphic modeling for the bunker depicts Tesla's divisive Cybertruck parked outside. The concept design mirrors the vehicle's peculiar angular shape and metallic appearance. Intact with the inside parking space for the almost 20-foot-long truck, a press release for the 984-square-foot project declares that it could comfortably house up to seven people if any disaster appears. The firm's lead architect, Alex Wyshevsky, shared he was inspired by both Tesla's design and submarines, with his proposal centered around a strengthened concrete core. In developing the Cyber House, they took as a basis the principle of building modern nuclear submarines, consisting of several protective shells. The multi-layered enclosure proposed in their project provides maximum safety from different disasters. Systems for purifying and treating water and air will aid survival if you get cut off supplies. Described as totally autonomous, the house would also be energized by solar panels and wind turbines. That means that inhabitants could live there for up to a year without leaving the house. Naturally, the addition of an outdoor terrace for sunbathing makes the cyber house a luxurious choice for the discerning Tesla owner. Moreover, the structure can be engineered to contain a small swimming pool, should the occupants so desire. Cyberhouse focus not only on the maximum safety, but also on comfortable, autonomous living in this house. Indeed, for individual potential owners, there is no serious need for protection, most likely. They will like the design and independence of this project. While there are no urgent plans to build a cyber house, the main architect, Alex Wyshevsky, showed confidence that his concept will soon become a reality. He announced interest from several potential clients in Russia, Spain, and the US. And rather than a futuristic novelty, the architect believes his bunker offers a practical look at how our aesthetic tastes will evolve. World's architecture and now the automobile industry is moving towards simplification in forms, maximum utilitarianism, and manufacturability, adding that new technologies give hope to lovers of this style that will grow to a mass culture soon. After we got to the project's principal concept, can we go more in-depth and explore the house in detail? Sure, but before we begin, imagine. In one of the secret biological laboratories has occurred a virus leak that turns people into zombies. It would seem that popular culture has warned about the possibility of such a scenario for decades, but humanity was not ready. The unintelligent but purposeful living dead operate in large groups, ravaging city by city. What unites all survivors? Undoubtedly, all of them have excellent physical shape, stress resistance, excellent response, but the attentive eye will not hide this detail. Their housing is strongly protected, and the car is reliable and aggressive. Cyberhouse is that kind of autonomous multi-level bunker. The project provides its exploitation in extreme conditions, starting with the zombie apocalypse, ending with a nuclear threat. The cyber house consists of several zones, where the first area is the bunker slash bomb shelter area, the second zone is a household, third zone is technical, fourth zone is residential, and the fifth zone is the terrace area, which is transformed into an open and closed terrace. Autonomy is supported by various systems such as solar panels, wind turbines, water treatment and purification systems, purification and air conditioning systems, local wastewater treatment plant system, and heat pump. The cyber house was designed on the principle of multiple protection circuits. The model of atomic submarines is taken as a basis. The inner outline is the core of the cyber house, a bunker made of monolithic strengthened concrete. 
The inner condor is the most sheltered part of the cyberhouse. It has the maximum fourth defense level. The next circuit is a residential ground selection made of monolithic reinforced concrete and equipped with armored airlock doors. It has the third defense level. The outer contour holds a strong power metal frame, sheathed with sheets of the heavy duty metal compound. It has the second defense level. The window openings are covered by armored glazing and high strength metal shutters. Armored airlock doors are provided together with sealed gates of the telescopic mechanism. The outer terrace is equipped with protecting metal roll shutters, which, if necessary, cover the entire perimeter of the terrace. It has a basic level of protection. This cyber house is created for use in conditions of natural disasters, such as hurricane wind, tornado, earthquakes, eruption, low temperature, and technogenic accident like chemical emissions and radioactive contamination of the territory. A crucial passive protective element of the building is its architecture. Designed walls with a negative angle covering the perimeter of the building can minimize mechanical and electrical effects and reliably protect in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Even the most agile and smart zombie will unlikely climb the negative slopes of the walls. Also. Another protective role of the building is its particular internal layout. It is designed so that if the enemy did get inside the room, you could quickly stop his future penetration with the airlock door. The safety of the perimeter of the cyber house allows you to feel as safe as possible always. Total isolation is achieved due to the central part of the atrium and the glazing of the building's perimeter. You can sunbathe on the outdoor terrace in sunny weather while in cool weather. You can sit comfortably by the fireplace. By desire, the project can provide a mini pool located in the central part of the atrium. For your pleasant stay in the project, the house has a cargo elevator to the underground garage. You can safely cover your car in the event of any unfavorable conditions, flooding, hurricanes, or just from the envious eyes of neighbors. The cyber house is designed for the comfortable living of six to seven people in extreme conditions. Tesla's Cybertruck had bombed online buzz, controversy, and countless memes when it was presented. Despite the diverse reaction, Elon Musk tweeted three days later that 146,000 vehicles had already been pre-ordered. A later post after a couple of days suggested that this number had risen to 250,000. Upon its release, the Cybertruck was related to vehicles seen in movies like Blade Runner. Simultaneously, the official Twitter account for The Walking Dead wrote that the truck would be sick in a zombie apocalypse. And Wisevsky isn't the only designer inspired by Tesla's futuristic pickup truck. New York design agency Lars Buro also proposed a prefabricated steel unit dubbed Cybunker that would contain a 600 square feet parking space for trucks that don't fit in standard garages. Would you buy a Cybertruck? What about Cyberhouse? Is it capable of saving you from the zombie apocalypse? Let us know in the comment section.